All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Today, our topic is about the news. So, if you are not interested in politics, uh, maybe this is not your topic. Uh, however, our topic is it's about uh, you know politics and uh, war, uh, but it is about religion at the same time. And what we will do today, we will try to explain to you what's going on in Libya. Every one of us, he followed the news, depend where he lived mostly, and in the language he understand. So those who speak Arabic, they hear it in Arabic, those who speak English in English, etc. But at the end of the day, all the news agencies, they don't really share with you any news except an agenda. In the front of me, I have in Twitter, if you see in the screen, this is the post from the U.S. Embassy in Libya. USA Embassy in Libya, a few years ago, was stormed by terrorists and in the city of Tripoli, and the ambassador was killed and a few of his bodyguards. And uh, since then, USA did really nothing. Uh, they capture one guy and they claim he is the one who killed or behind the attack. But the attack launched by hundreds of people, but yet you capture one, which is sound fishy and weird. However, if we look at this uh, news now, uh, USA is sound like they are against the offensive attack by Khalifa Haftar. The second I see such a statement, that's mean USA is not really supporting uh, uh, the officer, the high officer in the uh, uh, in the Libyan army. Uh, Haftar and here I have a lot of questions or question marks about this Haftar simply is fighting the Muslims Brotherhood his attack you know they say to you there is a government etc this is all is a garbage the government in Tripoli is sponsored by Qatar and it is a Muslim Brotherhood so why Trump is protecting the Muslims Brotherhood you see, before we said Obama is protecting the Muslim Brotherhood because he's a Muslim and he's one of them. Trump, is he a Muslim? No. So why he is protecting the Muslim Brotherhood? If what they are posting there is true, which means really USA is against the attack, that's obvious mean that Trump is trying to protect the Muslim Brotherhood in Tripoli. And if this is true, that means Trump is working for Qatar now. But if this is just a statement, eh, in many politics, you know, it's just a politics, it's mean nothing. So we will see really, uh, uh, USA, what they will do regarding this war. If you go and see in the, in the Western news agencies, you will see all of them attacking uh, uh, the, the, the big officer, which is Haftar. I will put his picture so you can see it. This is New York time. Libya is entering another civil war. America cannot stop it. The Trump administration must act fa fast to stop the escalation conflict in Libya, which will sub sub uh, uh, like will increase uh, the ongoing effort uh, for peace settlement and uh, the strength in the Islamic State. The fact is the opposite. The fact this war, if the guy Haftar, if he won, it is against the Islamic State and it's going to have peace in Libya. So why Western medias, they are saying what they are saying? Why Western media always, they present to us false news and false stories? Simply because most of them, they are flooded by the money of Qatar. Qatar bought the major, you know, not necessarily bought them as, uh, as shares, but they bought their opinion. Everybody work for Qatar. If you go and read all the news in Europe, you will find that all of them, they are copy-paste. All of them, they are the same. Attacking this person, who he is, sponsored by Emirat, by Saudi Arabia, by Egypt. And why they sponsored him? Because he is fighting the Muslims' brotherhood. So here the question is, why New York Times, why the Daily Telegraph, why all Western news agencies, they always defend the Muslims Brotherhood when all of us, we knew they are one of the biggest terrorist organization in the world. In case you don't remember, the one who killed the president of Sadat, 
which is the one who signed the peace agreement with Israel it was the Muslims Brotherhood the one who burned and killed many Christians in Egypt just a few years ago during the revolution against the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt it was Muslim Brotherhood so what is behind this why always Western medias they back up the terrorist especially in this case the Muslims Brotherhood the answer is very simple it is money it is all about money give us money we will write whatever you want and we will make the criminal victim and the victim a criminal so now this guy Haftar if we go and search in the news this is his picture Haftar is an ex general and actually he's still a big general in the in the Libyan army uh, who is attacking Tripoli to free it from the Muslims Brotherhood Muslim Brotherhood they have full control of the city of the government of the army of the president of everything they are the whole city is under their command when Hillary Clinton many years ago before the ambassador of USA to be killed she met one official in all of the country of Libya and that was a Muslim Brotherhood leader he was actually the head of the Muslim Brotherhood in Libya so in the time of Obama all of us we knew that Obama and Hillary Clinton they are in bed with Muslim Brotherhood today we have a Trump is a Trump going to be in bed with the Muslim Brotherhood for me I will not be surprised if I if, if he do so because you know uh, this guy he do business this guy he do business if the Qatari they pay more he will go with the Qatari if the Emirati they pay more he will go with the Emirati it's an auction it's not uh, it's not about what's right and what's wrong and based on what I see here from the embassy of USA uh, look what they say the United States oppose the military offensive by Khalifa Haftar now I can say maybe because the embassy is exists now under the Muslim Brotherhood control so they have to say something which will not cause uh, let us say uh, an attack on them maybe we will see because the city now is under the control of the Muslim Brotherhood still but is that going to stay the opinion of USA or is going to change we do not know and I hope uh, Trump is not a potato who is for sale and whoever pay him more that will will make me really lose a lot of respect to him so this guy is attacking uh, he's attacking the 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 the, st the capital in order to free it from the Muslim Brotherhood and here you will notice a Jazeera TV a Jazeera TV which is supporting the enemy of this guy which means they are supporting the Muslim Brotherhood as usual they are posting for you uh, thousands of uh, uh, pictures of thousands of African slaves who they are enslaved by the Muslim Brotherhood but if you read the title look what the title says detained refugee terrified as it clashes near Tripoli rage the fact those detainees we need to ask them why you detain them anyway why they are healed or they are they are jailed in Libya simply they are slaves you can go and watch there's tons of videos and ton of articles speaking about the, the, in, in Libya they are enslaving those people and they are in the hand of the Muslim Brotherhood very horrible but look what the news what what the uh, Jazeera uh, title is the title is detained refugee terrified which means they want to make you believe that the guy who attacked Tripoli is doing a horrible job this is not right look even the refugees so they can earn more support against him uh, let us see Air Force uh, etc here like they are reporting the, the attacks the overall situation remains fluid would contain information clashes okay so here you see in this map supposedly what is occupied by the general Khalifa Haftar and actually for me I wish that he would win I wish he would win because this guy is literally really he is fighting terrorists 
Now, I do not know in the future if he will be a terrorist or not, but what I know that he is fighting in the Muslim Brotherhood. Uh, all this news. Here, the, the, the force of uh, the uh, Haftar, they occupy the airport which belong to the city. So they take over it. And this is all is in Twitter, you know. Uh, Reuters news, UN backed Libya government. As you see, United Nations support Libya government. When you see United Nations supporting someone, that's mean he is evil. As simple as that. The second you see United Nations supporting somebody, it's mean he is a scumbag. That's it. They unite they, they backed Libya government. Libya government who? That is the Muslim Brotherhood. I mean, those became government. Who is the one who elected him? Nobody. Did they have election and the people they vote for him and they became government? Nobody. So how the Western approved them to be government? No, we do not know. Except that obviously Qatar paid a lot of money. In order to be a government, shouldn't you have election in the whole, the whole, the whole country? Since Libya president, the ex-president was killed, there is no election, there is no security, uh, the, the, the country is divided. So how those became a government? Who made them government? Simply the money of Qatar. They are Muslim Brotherhood. Behind them there is Qatar and Turkey. Turkey raises concern over tension in Libya. And actually Turkey now, they are involving in the, in the war in the ground. And I will not be surprised if Turkey and Qatar they send their airplanes to attack the Caliphate. Uh, the, sorry, the uh, uh, the guy. His name is Khalifa. By the way, Khalifa means Caliphate too, but doesn't mean he is the Muslim Caliphate. Uh, so uh, always learn something about about the news. If you want to know really who is behind somebody read his articles and he support who like you know new york Times is is, a, is an american newspaper is not really a, a, a qatar newspaper but when you see in new york Times attacking this guy it's mean they sponsor the muslim brotherhood as simple as that always if you, you want to understand who is behind who who stand for who who is supporting who see the article about what and then you will know how and where they stand but until now, I could not find one Western newspaper taking a side with this guy, Haftar, because simply all of them, obviously, they are paid by Qatar. Uh, this guy now, he has support only from a few countries, which like uh, Egypt, uh, uh, Emirate, Saudi Arabia. We love we with love from the Khalifa Haftar led Libya National Army to the capital Tripoli, and uh, like somebody here is uh, is making like uh, an airplane in the sky. Would love to uh, this guy. Uh, okay, here you will notice. See. Uh, uh, how how some people they give you their own ideas, and how the Western always is to support the wrong person. Uh, look here, many Libyan tweets commuting, uh, com commenting uh, in how Saudi and UAE account accounts with large following, and associate. Boots are within the going conflict in the Western Libya with the propaganda fake news. So here, this guy obviously his name is War Farm Luncher. I don't know who is this guy. He have five thousand followers. Obviously, he is taking the side of the Muslim Brotherhood. Uh, here I go again. He is doing the same. Uh, Footage showing you is Africa command military. Okay. And this is the guy who is leading this attack on the Muslim Brotherhood, as you see him. All right. So this is how you how you know the word, how the word is made this day. You want to know who is behind Muslim Brotherhood? Go and read their articles. You want to know who is who is against them? Go and see who support this guy.
the one who support this guy obviously he is not sponsoring Muslim Brotherhood the one who is against him obviously he is supporting Muslim Brotherhood as simple as that you do not need to do investigation to find like uh, who paid who it is very clear this war have nothing to do both of them they are not legitimate when it's come to government because simply this guy was a was a general in the army yes the army is still there and he, he was this is his job but the government but both of them they are a government he is an army he is a general but the other government which is approved by the Western have nothing to do with any government nobody made them a government there's no election there's no vote there's no country the country is divided there is militant in every city and yet the Western they named them as government why because Qatar and Turkey sponsor them so this fight in Libya is not a fight between people in Libya this is international fight between Turkey and Qatar and the Muslim Brotherhood in the world using all their influence and they have a lot of influence in Europe everywhere and the Saudi and Emirat and Bahrain and Egypt who's going to win we do not know if you ask me I hope that this guy he will win oh yeah Turkey have a big influence all the weapon the Muslim Brotherhood they have in uh, uh, in in, uh, in Libya is bought either by Turkey or by Qatar Qatar purchase it the delivery goes to Libya which means because you know when you are a, when you are a country you are allowed to purchase weapon including heavy heavy duty weapon uh, you cannot purchase weapon if you are a militant now uh, Libya you know uh, or this little tiny government in a little, little city they don't have really uh, uh, that power to purchase I mean even their money is not too much because the oil is not all like the oil is scattered all over and militant are controlling it so how they can afford to buy it is the money of Qatar even Turkey <laughs> you know if you go and check Turkey Turkey almost 20% of the weapon Turkey own is purchased by Qatar why because Turkey is a Muslim Brotherhood uh, Erdogan is a Muslim Brotherhood and Qatar is the money back to sponsor Turkey and Turkey they sponsor in return Qatar so the, the the Saudi and the and the Emirat and Egypt they will not invade Qatar. So all of those are uh, the gang of the Muslim Brotherhood, and they sponsor each other in this war. All right. So the one who win this war, if if this guy he won this war, the Muslim Brotherhood existence in Africa is history. That's it. They are kicked out from Saudi Arabia. They are kicked out from Emirat. They are kicked out from Bahrain. They are kicked out from uh, 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 Egypt. And now they are going to be cooked out from the last base for them. So which means the only place for them is Turkey. And that's it. And Erdogan look like he is not going to live long. He is losing the ground everywhere. Economy of Turkey is collapsing. The money of Qatar will not make him survive for long because there is no way Qatar, even if it's a very rich country, can make a country like Turkey survive you see when you have a huge population uh, giving them a bunch of billion billion dollars still will not make the country survive because that will not even be the cost of living for a few weeks in such a country so if this guy he won the war that is the biggest disaster for the Muslim Brotherhood after losing Egypt and then they will be worried about what is next you see Qatar uh, the reason Qatar they want uh, to control uh, uh, Libya uh, let us open the map again We will open for you the map. All right. So this is Libya, as you see. Libya 
has really a good amount of gas and when we talk about gas we are talking about the propane or natural gas Qatar number one income for them is the same natural gas so if the Muslim Brotherhood took over Libya which have a very small population a population almost of five millions that's mean Qatar will control a major source of gas in all the Middle East and they can control the price and they can control the influence same time if Libya became a Muslim Brotherhood country that's mean this country here have is going to provide crazy money for the Muslim Brotherhood so it's not going to be only the support is not going to be only by Qatar so Qatar will 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 be a relief because now money will come from Libya Libya is a rich country with oil and gas so that will give a very big support to the Muslim Brotherhood so they can grow their influence all over Europe and slowly slowly control Europe they are buying they are investing you know like they, they are, their 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 plan is bigger than what you think the Muslim Brotherhood is bigger than anyone can imagine it's a very very well well organized organization and they have many names they don't go everywhere and they call themselves Muslim Brotherhood so they open branches like uh, uh, you know a, a Dawa team uh, uh, you know a charity organization they have many names but all of them they are Muslim Brotherhood they are very well organized they have ranks they have militant they have media they have uh, uh, finance they have I mean it's it's a it is it is an, an empire and this is what or the reason make Egypt and Saudi Arabia and Emirat sponsor this guy to free Tripoli because if they really were able to control Libya that would be a big problem for Egypt and maybe even destroy Egypt because the money will became so big for Egypt to resist they can buy a lot of citizens and they can start a civil war in Egypt so this is why you will you will find now that when this guy is attacking Tripoli uh, uh, he have a lot of enemies coming after him from the West because Qatar right now will will sharp all the teeth all the journalists who work for Qatar they are attacking him he is an invader he is a bad person he is breaking peace he is destroying Tripoli he is destroying uh, Libya the fact is not because if he take over that said he will take over Libya and Libya will have peace again so why they don't want to finish this war it's exactly what's happening in Syria in Syria right now there's a territory protected by Turkey let us draw some lines here or let us say let me open another map hold give me a second <clears throat> all right this is sorry Syria uh, 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 war map you notice here the area red this is full of Al-Qaeda you see this area here this is Al-Qaeda territory let us make it here this is Al-Qaeda territory protected by Turkey the Syrian army they cannot go in because Turkey will involve and will attack them the Western government they will not allow the Syrian army to attack Al-Qaeda because obviously they are protecting Al-Qaeda but why they are protecting Al-Qaeda because again behind the protection is the Muslim Brotherhood Qatar and Turkey so you can say all the evil is exist always behind the two countries Turkey and Qatar Trump he said we finished the Muslim Brotherhood and now we are going to withdraw but since since when USA their enemy is even you know uh, Isis Isis is something new Al-Qaeda is the enemy of USA 
and as you see there's hundreds of thousands of them still there they have they control many cities so why Trump he's saying we are done and we are finished that's a lie that is a big fat lie but the purpose of this is very simple why Trump he need to fight Al-Qaeda why he need to give victory to the Syrian army and to the Iranian and to Hezbollah let them fight each other let them kill each other maybe this is the plan and uh, the rest of Europe they take the side of Al-Qaeda for a very simple reason because Al-Qaeda is Qatar and whatever Qatar want Europe agree so they, they draw a green line each time the Assad uh, regime when I attack Al-Qaeda right away Europe they warn the Syrian army that they are going to use a chemical weapon which mean we are going to attack them and you ask yourself why in the world Europe is going to why they are defending Al-Qaeda <laughs> I mean does it make sense right it doesn't make sense everything happening there doesn't make sense but at the end of the day it's a business nothing personal Europe they don't really care for what's happening in Syria they don't care for what's happening in, in, in Libya what they care is for business as simple as that Turkey protecting Al-Qaeda Al-Qaeda is number one lovers to Erdogan everybody know that when Erdogan he attacked this area here he used Al-Qaeda to attack the Kurdish and this is the area he took it from the Kurdish you see it in light uh, light blue all this area he took it from the Kurdish by the help of Al-Qaeda so the story is very simple all the wars you see in in, in the Middle East behind it two major countries Qatar and Emirat and now the war in Libya is nothing di different it's the same it is a war between those who are Muslim Brotherhood like Qatar and Emirat uh, Qatar and, and Turkey and the enemy of the Muslim Brotherhood which is uh, Qatar Bahrain Emirat etc so the war will will uh, will uh, 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 will go bigger and bigger as long nobody really is willing to stop it and nobody wanna w w nobody want a winner what you noticed in the West that the West do not want a winner and look like it's for their benefit to keep this country divided and to be in war forever the same as in Syria they don't want Syria to have to to be back to the way it used to be before so they don't want a winner they want a war to continue and Qatar is the most evil country in the world look they destroy Syria the, the 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 Muslim Brotherhood this they claim that they want to build an Islamic uh, they defend Muslims they are they love Muslims but the fact look what their war brought to Syria Syria is totally destroyed constructions buildings houses businesses almost half of the country run away same as in Iraq nobody want Iraq to have peace again it's not for the benefit of anyone to have peace why because Iraqi uh, uh, they need to keep buying weapon they need to keep buying an emission they need always uh, 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 to spend all the money they make from oil and buying stupid things is going to turn into rust and the same for Libya nobody want Libya to have a peace again you know al Qazafi he was killed a few years ago why until now there's war because simply Qatar and Turkey they will not let this country go in peace unless it come either Muslim Brotherhood take over it or you will never have peace they try to do the same with Egypt but the Egyptian they were stronger than them and they kicked them out so now we have two major countries they are victims of the Muslim Brotherhood Libya and Syria so the map is going to be written by the victorious who is the one who will make victory in this war if uh, Haftar this guy he won the war the Muslim Brotherhood they are gone and they are history from Libya and soon there will be history out of uh, 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 of, uh, of Libya uh, 
through you know Erdogan he's trying to buy time hoping th something will change but nothing will change his economy is collapsing uh, even election which usually I mean uh, Erdogan he lost election even in his city imagine he left he, he lost election even in in the capital uh, uh, he is now trying to go to gain uh, Istanbul and he is asking to recount in Istanbul because you know they, they lost in Istanbul so Erdogan is collapsing Qatar cannot spend too much money no more because it became so much they are sponsoring Erdogan they are sponsoring Muslim Brotherhood around the world and they need Libya badly it is a money back which can sponsor their project to take over and start an Islamic Caliphate but a caliphate based in the Muslim Brotherhood organization uh, and that will never happen and actually the Muslim Brotherhood almost really almost they control and they were I mean they are really smart they were able to control and to take over uh, but uh, uh, let us say they made some mistakes when uh, when the Saudi government they discovered the plan of the Muslim Brotherhood to take over Saudi Arabia and then they did more investigation and they discovered the plan to control uh, Qatar uh, sorry uh, Emirat both countries imagine it guys Emirat used to have uh, uh, be between seven to uh, I think seven or eight ministers including the ministers of education they are Muslim Brotherhood they are not hiding they are like the organization there became so so powerful to the point more than the half of the number members of ministers are Muslims Brotherhood so the Emirati they sponsored them in the beginning they thought this is just an Islamic organization working for the benefit of uh, of uh, all this uh, the, the Muslims but when they discover the royal family they discover that they have a queue getting ready to take over the whole country and then they will join Qatar and they are planning to to take over Saudi Arabia and to make a queue in Saudi Arabia and to take over Saudi Arabia and they were growing so fast then both of them they have to take action and they start arresting everyone who is a member in in the Muslim Brotherhood so and then after what happened there which is the biggest mistake for the uh, Muslim Brotherhood otherwise they will be really successful now if they wait a few years more and the Saudi and the Emirati did not discover their, their their plan to take over that's mean that they can take over all over the Middle East that's it they got Saudi Arabia they got Emirat they got all the money they want and don't forget that right away after before they discuss uh, 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 you know uh, uh, it was in the year uh, hold on what year Muslim Brotherhood they won election I think 12 something like that I think 12 12 or 13 maybe 12 uh, no 2011 2012 I think so they won the election imagine because people they were desperate they they, they are looking for somebody who is not corrupt and the Muslim Brotherhood they present themselves as their only religious group who they are not corrupt so the Muslim Brotherhood they took over Egypt and then they started the war in Syria or let us say the war in Syria already was started actually so the plan was very simple Turkey is Muslim Brotherhood if the Muslim Brotherhood took over Syria then they take and take over Jordan and already in Jordan more than 80% of population are Muslim Brotherhood and they have already Egypt so if they take over Saudi Arabia and Emirat here we go they have a caliphate and then Libya you know uh, uh, the Muslim Brotherhood was preparing themselves to take over and this is why the the stupid uh, uh, hilarious Clinton uh, when she went to Libya she met only one person from the whole country of Libya who was the leader of the Muslim Brotherhood which mean USA at that time under Obama they were preparing Libya to be the coming Muslim Brotherhood country and this way the Muslim Brotherhood they will have a huge map controlling all this territory all the way from Europe and not to forget to mention by the way that uh, Tunisia few years ago the Muslim Brotherhood took over it so they have Tunisia then the plan is to take Libya and almost they were successful 
this is Libya and they won the election in Egypt so they took Egypt the plan is to take over Saudi Arabia and if they take so over Saudi Arabia look what we have and then they take over Emirat and Qatar already is a Muslim Brotherhood and then they go and here we go to take over Jordan and they take over Syria and Turkey already under Erdogan which is the Muslim Brotherhood so all of this will be a one Islamic state and the target will be next is Israel Israel will be dead and they will attack from all direction this was the plan and uh, Obama was helping uh, everything was working perfectly for their benefit but the mistake happened in Saudi Arabia uh, when the Saudi discovered their queue against them and then they start arresting them and they start sponsoring anyone who is an enemy to the Muslim Brotherhood then the Muslim Brotherhood influence starts shrinking very fast and from being very popular they suddenly they became rejected by millions and millions of Muslims so they lost in Egypt they kicked them out they lost even in Jordan they are not not, not uh, like uh, they don't have too much influence and then they lost the war in Syria but in Syria they lost the war not because of Saudi Arabia but because of the Russian and Turkey now is collapsing anyway Saudi Arabia is doing everything in its hand to make Turkey economy collapse and uh, Trump is not helping too uh, you know he is really uh, few tweets he just you know he destroyed uh, half of the of, of the Turkish economy so now there is only two three three places for Muslim Brotherhood Brotherhood in this world and those are located in those territory little tiny city here is called Tripoli and what around it and this is the capital of Libya little tiny island in the size of a house it's called Qatar and then a big country is called Turkey that's it so now if the uh, if Haftar he kick out the Muslim Brotherhood from Libya that's mean the Muslim Brotherhood they are kicked out from all of North Africa almost forever the lost election in Tunisia they are out of, of, of Libya they are out of Egypt and that's it and the only place for them left is Qatar and Qatar is so small it might collapse anytime Erdogan he will not stay there and I am sure that Turkey is going to change Turkish people they will suffer badly because of this man Erdogan already they are suffering so the news is not good for the Muslims Brotherhood and this is why you see that all Western news and medias they are attacking badly the guy who is attacking the Muslims Brotherhood I did not find any news speaking good about this man when the fact this man is saving Libya from the faith of the Muslims Brotherhood and by the way doesn't mean that he is not a Muslim this guy is a Muslim and there's many Islamists they are fighting under his command but he is cleaning Libya from the Muslims Brotherhood this is the whole story this is the whole story here is the US uh, 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 army uh, they are leaving Libya uh, and taking all the employees of uh, uh, of the embassy with them you know in the sea uh, because the, the you know the city is not safe no more all right now always you want to see who is supporting who just listen to the news just listen to the news those are the enemy of uh, Haftar they are they are sending their troops to fight against him this guy here is an idiot anyway so I just wanted to share this news with you and uh, just to put a light in what's happening so you will not be misled 
because always what they say to you in the news is totally different from what is true for me I prefer this man to win the war and I hope he will and I hope he will kick out all the Muslim Brotherhood from Libya and that will make Libya a lot better country for all and I wish the best for all those people who live in Libya to have peace you know as long there is divided governments and there's many armies and there's many militants this country will never have peace so it's for their benefit to have one government one leader and that's it and always I see uh, the world go always in the wrong direction always they present to you the criminal as he is a victim and the victim as a criminal United Nation is against this guy that's mean this guy is good right uh, Uh, for sure you don't have to agree with me but this this person this person obviously he is doing he, he is destroying the plan of many corrupt uh, uh, corrupt organization and corrupt leaders in the world money always talk you know uh, I never saw in the in the media news anything right like you know I was watching the news about about Syria as an example when the Muslims are uh, uh, shedding over a Christian areas the Western media they were saying that they were defending themselves when the Muslims they attack our churches and they burn them they burn them down and they even they have videos the Western media they says the the, the the rubble today they free a territory from the Assad regime what Assad regime those are Christian villages never and the funny the Muslim they saying the Western media is against them I never saw a Western media is against Islam or against Muslims. It is the opposite. If you speak against Muhammad, they call us Islamophobia. If you speak against Islam, they call us Islamophobia. If you if anything happen in the world, they blame, they blame the, what is called Islamophobia. When the fact, we are the victims. We get killed, but yet we are the, we are the criminals. They slaughter us, they take our churches, they take our houses, they take our towns, they, they, they kill hundreds of people in Nigeria every day, and yet at the end of the day, you are the bad person because you have no right to speak against Islam. All Western media always they sponsored the faith of Islam. And that is telling you that Western media is the last one to listen to and to get the news from. Don't fool yourself and think those are not Islamic media. Those people, they have no dignity and they don't care for God. They don't care for the truth. They care for money. Pay and then we will talk. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, uh, the Prince of Qatar, right away he met two days ago with, the, with the, uh, the Foreign Minister of Russia asking for their help. Why not? You see money. This is what I'm talking about. You know, you know what I'm saying? This guy, because he is fighting the Muslim Brotherhood, Qatar, you know, Qatar, they bribe. How much you want, Russia? We will we will send you $500 million just for an opinion, just for a vote in the United Nations. Just a vote. You want $500 million? He will go $500 million. They make money more than more than poo-poo. Money come from the ground nonstop. So everything, everything is for, everything is for sale. For, for Putin, for Putin is the one who want to give uh, grant him his rights it doesn't matter who for him all of them they are the same you see for the Russian they are far away from uh, from Libya so anyone will grant them their place in Libya they will support him doesn't matter who the Prince of Qatar he was an enemy to Russia a few years ago but when he noticed that Russia became a very extremely important country and nobody can jump over it, now he is kissing the ass of Putin to the point he gave him even the keys of Damascus. So, you know, many of you think about it as, look, for me, we think about it based on what's right, what's wrong. But countries, news agencies, TV stations, they don't care. You know the the first job I, I as a civil job I did in my life it was to fix uh, uh, Arabic uh, uh, grammar etc in a newspaper and then you know I saw uh, I saw how hilarious it is for a few months they are attacking Al Qazafi every day every day Al Qazafi is a terrorist 
Al Qazafi he owes terrorism, he sponsored terrorists, he sponsored the Irish, he sponsored blah blah blah. He is beyond Lockerbie attack. And then suddenly the newspapers start talking about Al Qazafi as if he's God. The Qazafi he gave their women rights, the Qazafi he gave the women the right to be in the army. Every day, an article about how wonderful Al Qazafi. So I spoke to the uh, editor. I said, What happened? We were attacking this guy for the last three months. He said, We received a check yesterday. <laughs> we received a check yesterday from the embassy. So those media is like a barking dog. They bark at you, especially if you are rich. They keep barking, barking, barking. Oh, 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 until you pay him. You have to put a bone in there. Don't you know what they, what, they, what they want? They want a bone. So you give them a bone, and then they start, instead of barking at you, they bark, they bark for you. This is reality. The guy was, not only, by the way, not only about uh, uh, about politics, you know, are you, like I, I was fixing an article about the uh, uh, how harming drinking coffee. How harming what? Drinking coffee. Two weeks, three weeks, every day, an article, and they, they put it inside, like the scientists from Japan or from China, from blah, 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 they put names, nobody knows where they are coming from, which obviously fabricated. That if you drink coffee, you will die fast, etc. And then after that, suddenly, they start speaking the opposite about the benefit of drinking tea and how, uh, 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 you know, like, like in, in the beginning, the coffee will kill you and the tea will help you. And then after that, they switch. That tea can cause cancer, tea can have etc. etc. material. So what happened? I found later that all those articles are sponsored by either tea company or coffee company. So if the coffee company sponsor you, you attack the tea. If the tea companies, they sponsor you, you attack the coffee. And you, you think those are people, they, are, they have really doctors working there and they are giving you real articles and real studies, but the fact have nothing to do with any science. It's just an article to fool you and to make you buy or not to buy. And you read an article in news agency and you think, oh, the doctor, his name is Shish Kebab Hummus. He said, if you drink more than two cups of tea a day, that will cause you a cancer. So what do you do now? Okay, I will drink. I will need to drink. I cannot drink tea. What I will drink? I will drink coffee. This is how they can de they redirect you even in what you buy and what you want, what not to buy. So news agencies are really the devil. They try to control even your stomach, what you eat, what you would not eat, not only what politics. They have no God. They have no dignity. Everything is for sale. Pay me and I will make you God. You don't pay me, I will make you a devil. So don't, don't listen to what they say. Try to find out yourself. And for me, like, no, I, I'm, I'm reading now uh, New York Times. New York Times defended Khashoggi as no one ever. Khashoggi. We want Khashoggi killers. We want the one who slaughtered Khashoggi. As if Khashoggi is an American citizen and he is beloved by all America. The guy, he is a terrorist. Khashoggi. He is a friend of, of Osama bin Laden. He has pictures with him holding RBG. Khashoggi is a member of Al-Qaeda. Khashoggi is the, the a closer friend for the founder of Al-Qaeda. Why everybody is, you know, because he is a Muslim Brotherhood and the, he is sponsored by Qatar. As simple as that. Did you ask yourself why Khashoggi went to Turkey? Because Muslim Brotherhood is there. They are controlling he feels safe there. So he felt, he said to himself, okay, I am in Turkey, what they can do to me? This is a Muslim Brotherhood country. If they want to arrest me, they will take me through the airport. Erdogan will not let them. But he never thought, if you go inside the embassy, they will make him shish kebab. Right? Jamal Khashoggi. The one they they say he is and he is a journalist. The guy is not a journalist. Since when he is a journalist? This guy is a is a is a is a an intelligent agent. He was working for the Saudi intelligent, and he was a member of Al Qaeda. He was a member of the Muslim Brotherhood, and he is a member of the Muslim Brotherhood. Suddenly became journalist. You see, they give you a title as they wish. 
journalist this guy is a journalist a spy is a journalist he worked in the Saudi embassy he was an assistant for the ambassador he never been a journalist a journalist was a, was a job was given to him by the Saudi to cover his spy activities Uh, so always always you know don't don't take what they say to you and like if I read now this title here right away you will see like okay uh, you know look this guy if he attack he will he will strengthen the Islamic State how is that how if this guy take over the Islamic State will be strong how is that explain to me that's stupid this is a lie and look who is the writer the writer is Fr Frederick and Jeffrey so the writers are not Muhammad Ali and not Abdul. So when you read, you don't suspect that there's something fishy behind. It's not a Muslim writing the article. But the answer is very simple. So always be careful and don't take what they say to you for granted because simply all is a scam all is a lie and look when they speak about war look they put for you a picture of two kids playing with with this car and look what this this war did 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 to them but this is not really reality if you go in libya this is a rich country nobody is dying and nobody nobody is hungry even now, even now, the, the people of Libya, they go and they live in five stars hotels all over Asia. There's many people who flee from Libya, still they receive their salary from the government. A lot of money. But always they show you in pictures that look, 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 look at the picture they choose. I suppose this is how picture, how this is how people in Libya, they, they, their life. Those are kids are playing. And this car have nothing to do with the war. What does have to have to do war? Does it sound like it's burned? Obviously, it's an old car. Nobody care for it. <laughs> so they try to fool you. They try to present to you a news which is not a news. It is a political agenda. And because you do not know, you believe whatever they say. How you know? Even USA embassy is fooling us. But I understand the USA embassy in Tripoli now they are under the control of the Muslim Brotherhood So they might say something which is suitable for the position they are in Maybe they will change what they will say a few days from now As I know almost this guy he controlled half of the city uh, The 7G seven great countries and I don't know what is great about them Canada and France and Germany and Italy it, and, and, and Italy and Japan and the United Kingdom and USA Those are the 7G. What is great about them? I do not know uh, The great about them that we have a corrupt government who always take the side of the wrong one They always they take the side of the wrong one and now they are against this man Haftar The great G I mean, that's it what we can say but why if you ask them why they will not tell you why I mean Libya is divided Libya in war for many years why you don't want this guy to take over shouldn't one guy take over at the end of the day they will never agree they are Arab or they are let us say Muslims they will never agree about anything politics is not really business always those people one one take over and one he lose there is no democracy and will never be democracy there not by the one who is there, not by the one who is coming. So they try to fool us and they try to present to us G foreign minister's statement in the situation in Libya. We, the foreign ministers in Canada, France, Germany, blah, 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 blah. You know, we condemn blah, 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 the attack on territory. Why? Same as the United Nations, the same garbage. The same garbage.
always when Western medias, even Western government, they say this is good, it's mean it's bad. This is how always I see it. What is right is wrong, and what is wrong is right. Libya now is the biggest center of slavery in the world. Look here. This is a Jazeera. A Jazeera they posted for us a picture to show you that what, what this guy he did. Look at this. Those are African are hostage in Libya by the Muslim Brotherhood. But what the title is? The title is by, by a Jazeera TV detained refugee terrified as it clashes near Tripoli. My friend, can you tell me why they are detained refugee? In Libya, they are not coming to Libya. Why you detain them? They detain them. They they dig it, uh, tunnels for the army. They build uh, 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 like ambush. They build the uh, 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 walls, be like so, like the, so the army can prepare for war. They use them for 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 free work slaves, and the girls they take them, separate them, and they they read them. Go and read. The biggest center for slavery in the world is the one controlled by the Muslim Brotherhood in Libya. So why the, the European government, they are sponsoring them? But look what the news says. The news says that they are refugees who they are terrified. They are terrified. Can you tell me how you can make people sit like this? Unless you are forcing them? Like they are in prison, you know what I mean? They will not sit like this. This is like they are prisoners, obviously. And actually, even the title says detained, which means they are in jail. Why? Either send them back to their country or let them go where they are going. Why they are detained? Send them back. The one is coming from Ethiopia, send him back to Ethiopia. Why you detain him? They will not let them go because it's a free slavery and girls are free sex and even they are making porn about them they are asking for ransom they are asking for money they force the man to have sex with his sister they are coming together refugee they force him to have sex with his sister and then they contact the family and they say we have a tape of your of your son having sex with his sister if you don't give us a certain money we are going to release it in the internet one of the biggest business in Libya. Yeah, they force, you can read the articles about it. They force the guy, like you, you are coming with your sister as a refugee. They bring you and they say, if you don't have sex with her, we will kill you and we will kill her. And they record you. And then they will, they will contact your family. You have your phone. They contact your family and they say to them, you have, let us say, 30 days. Either you pay a set of money, you send it to us, or we are going to release this tape. They send him a small file. Your son having sex with his sister. This is what European government are sponsoring. Those criminals. And all the excuse is, keep peace. What peace? Keep peace. This is the peace we want. A slavery land in the in the you know if if those European leaders are decent, if Trump himself is decent, he should have an invasion and free those people. If this is not a reason to have an invasion, what is the reason then to 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 make money? When 50 people, they, they got killed in New Zealand, the whole world they cry, look at those people. They are dead. What do you mean they are detained? For how many years they are detained? They have, guys, they have people detained there for seven, eight years already. They are detained for eight years. For how long he will stay there? This guy, this poor guy, he will be detained for what? always everything wrong have good title in western media the same as a jazeera 
Al Jazeera is an Islamic agency run by the Muslim Brotherhood by the Prince of Qatar. Any title in Al Jazeera is nothing but a scam. It is the biggest filthy hate TV station in the world. Actually, me myself was the reason behind the closing Al Jazeera Mubashar in USA. After uh, USA uh, hunt the rabbit Osama bin Laden and they throw him to the fish and may um, may Allah forgive the dolphins and the shark though who ate him uh, a Jazeera Mubashar which is mean uh, the Jazeera direct which mean people they call life on air and they can talk they open and like a live broadcast to take uh, let us say a uh, uh, phone call from the Muslims around the world who they are condemning the killing of Osama bin Laden and they are asking for a threat and revolution and to kill American life in TV. I recorded them and I send me myself and I say that in public. I say that I send that to every USA security agencies, everyone, FBI, you name it. In less than 48 hours after Al Jazeera TV was shut down and they've been kicked out of USA. The program in Arabic and supposedly they thought okay nobody will report us they were calling guys imagine they are calling and seeking we will take revenge brother we will take revenge and the host he says I mean to that brother so what do you want to say to us about killing our our brother Osama bin Laden this is Jazeera they are calling Osama bin Laden our brother our hero in Arabic this is a Jazeera and they have a branch for them in all over Europe and they have a studio and they have employee who they are European the whole point of the Jazeera is to penetrate your mind and your society it is the arm the political arm the media arm of the Muslims Brotherhood so I hope I hope that this guy Haftar will take over and he will control the city and that will be a good news for people in Libya for anyone who love peace and to get rid of the Muslim Brotherhood Brotherhood they are really destroying every place they go to so let us hope that this guy is going to win the war and all those who they are trying to stop him they will fail including USA and Europe this is my wish and this is my opinion and you don't have to agree with me I want to say thank you for being here guys may the Lord bless you and I will see you again uh, this video is not really important to download it's just politics but feel free to watch it and it's not going to stay long in my page as usual thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you Christ is Lord and Islam is false thank you very much take care bye bye